Nyla. Welcome back to my channel. As y'all can tell from today's title, I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone. You guys have been requesting this on my Instagram. If you aren't following me, I'll have it here on the screen. But yeah, so I decided to go ahead and film this. I haven't filmed one since last summer, I believe. I have that in the eye if y'all want to check out that one to see like the difference between how my phone is set up and like the different apps that I have. Yeah, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the apps that's currently on my phone, how they're organized, what I use them for, that kind of thing. Also, another like addition to this video, I'm going to tell y'all or show y'all how I edit my Instagram photos. So I'll be doing that too. It's not really much to it, but I'm going to show y'all how I do it just so y'all know how I guess. So yeah, um, this may be kind of like a longer video, but I know y'all do enjoy like videos that are on the longer side so i hope y'all enjoy give this video a big thumbs up make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and jump into today's video so i'm going to go ahead and say this now because i know there will be some notifications that are going to pop up so please excuse those throughout the video but just so y'all know i have the iphone x not the xr not the, not the xs nothing just the regular iphone x and it's the black one and my case is a waterfall case and it's from target so yeah that's the basic information about my phone. Okay, so now we're hopping right in. As for my home and lock screen, it's the same thing. It's just a picture from my Instagram, but this changes frequently. So I always change my lock and home screen. They're not always the same picture either. But I just recently took that picture and I really like it, so I made it both. On my like dock, I have Snapchat. And if y'all want to add me, y'all definitely can. So this is my Snapchat if you guys are interested. And then I have messages, which I'm not going to open, but here on my dock, I have daily. So this has all the apps that I use daily, hence the name. So um, I have two pages. So the first app is my period tracker app. So this is Clue. I obviously use this for my period tracker. Um, yeah, and it's actually pretty accurate. Like the more you use it, the more accurate it becomes. So you can just put in like your information, um, all that good stuff. So yeah. Next I have YouTube, obviously I watch YouTube, I make videos, so I have that, and then I also have Pinterest, which I love Pinterest, this is why Pinterest, if you guys are interested in following me, I have a few boards up here. Then I have photos, which I'm not going to open, but obvious, um, I do have my pictures organized in a few different folders, um, not for any particular reason, just because I have Safari, and then I have Twitter, which y'all can follow me on, I actually just got my Twitter account back, which is cool, so... Yeah, um, this is my Twitter if you guys are interested. And I have AnyDo, and this is just a to-do list app. So, um, yeah, you can just like put any of your tasks that you want to get done and just complete them and check them off. I have FaceTime. I have Instagram. I love Instagram. I think it's my favorite app now. So here's my Instagram. Um, yeah. When you slide over, I have Roki, which is not the right app, which is, I was wondering why it wasn't working, but, um, basically Roku has, like, an app, just like a Fire Stick does, and you can control it off of your phone, so say you're too lazy to use the remote, or, um, you can just use it on your phone, so, this is the wrong app, but I am gonna download the right one, I just haven't gotten around to it, but, yeah, that's pretty cool. Next, I have Tidal, this is my music app. I have been getting requests for a recent playlist, but I don't really have any new music. So, when I do get some new music, I'll definitely do a playlist for y'all. And then right beside it, I have Spotify, and below Roki, I have Music. So, those are all my music apps. I'm not really on Spotify, and I'm um, not really on Music either. I just have those for, like, backup music apps. I have two different Audible book kind of um, apps. So, I have eStories, and then I have Audible. These both read you books. Um, eStories and Audible is not, they're both not from Amazon, Audible is just from Amazon, and then, um, eStories is just another, like, kind of knockoff app, so they both read you stories, and, yeah, and then I have Fire TV, which is the Fire Stick app, so you can just use the, the same, like, commands on the phone as it would be on the, uh, remote, so that's cool. 
So when you slide over, you see all my folders. They're all organized. So my first one is just my dot 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 folder. These are apps that I need, or not need, but these are just apps that I have. So first I have contacts, find iPhone, files, and then I have Bitmoji. Whenever I change my hair, I also change my Bitmoji's hair. That's so extra, but you know that's me. Um, I have my countdown 365, and this is just to count down to any event like your birthday or if there's a holiday or something's coming up you can use that i see like most of the time people use it for their birthday i have lookout which i don't remember i think this is like a um i think it's like a virus like catcher for your phone so like if there's like anything that's like that can trigger a virus on your phone it'll like alert you or whatever i don't know my mom downloaded it um then i have this right here so this is like a secret santa thing so i did that with my friends during christmas time i have the apple watch app of course because i have the apple watch and i have activity which i should delete because i don't use which um is pretty bad but you know when you slide over i have air jordan i don't know why i have that app I don't really need it and then i have nest and it is connected to my doorbell so my doorbell has a microphone and camera so you can see who comes to the front door so before I answer I can see who it is um and if I know who it is and then there's also a microphone so you can speak to the person which is really cool next folder that I have is shows so this has all my streaming um apps other than YouTube that's the only one that's not in here because I use YouTube daily these are just you know like streaming apps that I use sometimes so I have Disney now don't judge I also have Netflix the CW Prime Video Freeform Hulu Lifetime Stars, HBO Go, which is what I watch Euphoria on, and then I have Fox Now. So this is like my favorite folder. I just, you know, I love the shop. So I have Amazon Kicks on Fire, which is a shoe calendar app. Um, it alerts you when shoes are dropping. So I have that, which I use quite a bit. I haven't really been liking anything that's been coming out, to be honest with y'all. But there are a few things up here that I am planning on copying. So. I do use that to track like when shoes are coming out. I have Ulta Beauty, Pink Nation, Starbucks, Greenlight, which is my one of my um card apps. So I can track like um my purchases, how much money I have, all that good stuff on that card and my event just turned on, so I'm sorry if y'all can hear it in the background. Next I have Cash App, which is very self-explanatory. I have Shein, I love Shein. Um, Goat, which is another sneaker app. I have Romwe, um, Nike Sneakers, Forever 21, of course. Garage, Dope, Kids Foot Locker, Michaels, Etsy, Prime Now, and then Booksy. And this is um, an app that you can like book um, appointments on. My nail tech used to use Booksy, but now she doesn't anymore, so that's why I had it. I have Bump, Express. Um, Casivity, which I was going to make a uh, personalized case with like, pictures on it, so I have that, and then of course, Target. So, those are all my shopping apps. Next is YouTube. Of course, I'm probably not going to open like the majority of these apps, just because a lot of this stuff is personal, but I do have Gmail, um, YouTube Studio, I have Subcount, of course, so thank y'all so much for 106,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so much. Um, and I also have BCU, which is another bank card um app uh i have paypal adsense fiverr which is like you can get ideas you can download pictures there's so many things you can do on fiverr so um yeah my grandma actually recommended me this app so i downloaded it you can get logos made oh it's just like all kinds of stuff for like social media influencers i also have cricut design and i'm not really going to get into why i have that until i we're, we're just not going to get into that yet i also have mail which most of my it's the same thing as gmail but i just have it anyway and i need it for my um instagram email that's like attached to it uh, next i have school which i don't really want to be going into this folder but i do have two um slides so i have calculator qr reader which is like we scan code sometimes um which takes us to a website so we won't have to type out the whole website which is really convenient i have quizlet my favorite studying app of all time um Python and this is a uh, what is it I forget what it's called a, a VPN something like that yeah so like it, it's supposed to help the Wi-Fi does it really know no um I have photo math I have voice memos 
Docs, Remind, and then Power School, which is where I check my grades. Every school is different. Every school uses like a different app for checking grades or like keeping track of them. So y'all might use something else. Um, yeah. But for Remind, my teachers use that to like remind us of assignments or if you have to do a certain thing on an A day or a B day, things like that. And then Docs, I use that for my documents, essays, projects, things like that. Next, I have Flipgrid, which is something I use in Spanish. I have Slides, which is PowerPoints, but for Google. Um, I have Edpuzzle, which is also another app that I use for Spanish. And then I have Reminders. I do sometimes put Reminders. Um, if it's like very urgent, if it's something that I know I'm going to forget, I'll put that here. Um, mainly like for school things. But the Homework app is my favorite school app. I recommend it. It's like a little agenda in your phone. So if you're a person, if you're a person who doesn't like you know writing things down and you, you would just like prefer to do it on your phone you can do that so I still have some leftover tasks from freshman year but um yeah you can just put it you can just put in all your tasks um it shows you what you've completed um and it gives everything like a layout like on the calendar so you can see what's coming up on what day and it can kind of be like a laid out uh display of everything so I really love the homework app it definitely kept me super organized towards the end of the year once you start the slack but throughout the year I feel like it's going to be a good app to use next year as well so next um I have Instagram editing so I'm going to save the editing portion for this video to the end but um first I have Visco and follow me in my Visco I just made one so it's Miss Nala Nicole it's just like really artsy stuff this is one of the apps I use to edit my Instagram pictures I also have Lamotive which is just a video and picture app you can combine them together and add music to it I have NordVPN which is another VPN app I have Vigo Video which used to be Flippagram I have Hype Type and you can make like really cute um little things like little text um i used to use those for my videos and i think i'm gonna do that again like previews like on my story and stuff which is really cute i have crop videos so say you screen record a video but you don't want all that x's around it you can crop it so that's what i use that for i have into live video which basically you can just take pictures or you can take a video so say you want to take a few pictures and you can make it a live photo and then set it as your lock or home screen and when you press it down it moves so you can have like a video as your home or lock screen which is really cool i have layout and i use this for my instagram collages and then right beside it this is like my main instagram editing app which is huge um i did pay for this and y'all will see like why towards the end of the video next i have airbrush boomerang i love boomerangs i have facetune 2 which i haven't used but i still have it i have kira kira which is like an app that makes things sparkle it's super cute i have vaunt over which are both text editing apps i have triller and dub smash i'm sure y'all know what those are um pixel loop which i don't remember what that is i have 1967 giant square funny mate Dropbox, Instalab, VHS Cam, VHS App, and then I have Prequel. So those three that I just mentioned, the two VHSs and Prequel are like the ones that I use for like the VHS style or like old school style um, videos that y'all see sometimes on my story. Next I have games. So these have all my little fun games if I'm bored. So I have Pac-Man, Peak, and Peak is just like a brain exercising um, type of app so they have like games that make you use your brain which is really cool I used it like before school in the morning sometimes it's like kind of like a warm-up I have alchemy 2 piano tiles 2 color switch love balls color road word beach which is a app that gives you a certain amount of words and you have to make other words with those letters um I have fruit ninja happy color which is a color by number app I have Panda Pop, Episode, Fishdom, Gardenscapes, Genies and Gems, Dumb Ways to Die, Bitlife, and then I have Helix Jump. So those are all my games and I rarely use this folder. Beside that is my second favorite folder so don't attack me in the comments. I don't know why I still have Papa John's in here but I do have my favorite 
app of all time other than Instagram and Snap, which is Postmates. It gets me in so much trouble and it hurts my pockets so much, but I love ordering food. So I have Postmates, I also have Grubhub, um, I have Panera Bread. You can make mobile orders on Panera. You can do that on a lot of these apps that I have in here. But yeah, it just makes it easier that I can just pick it up off the shelf. So I have that, I have DoorDash, so Grubhub, Postmates, and um, DoorDash are all like food delivery apps. Um, I have Chick-fil-A, of course. I have all my Chick-fil-A points up there. I have Chipotle, Subway, Jersey Mike's, Taco Bell, and then I have Lyft, which I don't know why. I didn't know where else to put this, so I just put it here. Um, but yeah. And then the last folder is Health and Life. So I have Workout Women, and since I've gotten my back surgery, I'm doing well. So thank you to everyone who asks me sometimes. I really appreciate it. Um, after I like fully heal i will start working out again um yeah and then i have sleep and i just recently got this app super cool it reads you like stories or you can do like um uh, raining sounds or whatever to help you um sleep better it also sets like a bedtime um just like the time for bed that feature that's already on apple but yeah i just really like that app i have self-care which is a really cute app um i have daily horoscope so you just put your horoscope in and it gives you like it's really crazy because like it's like really on point like it's like how can i explain it like the things that are going on in your life and then like you read it it's just like it's just crazy um but i love this app it does really help a lot so i do use that um really frequently then i have selfish babe which gives you positive affirmations um, every day those are all the apps that are on my phone I'm going to probably just insert like a background and then like a screen recording of how I edit my Instagram pictures and I'll probably do a voiceover over it just so I don't know I feel like that'll just be easier of me instead of me talking and then having it right here you know so I think I'm gonna do it that way as for the first app that I use to edit my Instagram photos, it's called 1967. All of these apps are free, but basically it's super simple. You just choose what photo you want to edit, the cropping size, and then if you have the free version, you still have lots of filters to choose from. You can turn up the opacity or you can turn it down. Um, you can also decide if you want to have dust in the picture or not. I usually go with the first filter, but it's super simple. After that, you save it. There aren't any watermarks. It's just a really cool app. The next app a few of you will probably already be familiar with is Huji. This is like my main app that I use on my Instagram. This is super, super simple. Um, usually, if you have like the regular version of Huji, you just take the picture. But since I did buy it, I believe it's like $1.99 a month. Um, you can just insert photos from your camera roll and then save it that way. So that's what I do. The last app is Visco. If you guys are interested in following me on Visco, this is my account. But anyway, all you do is just like the other apps, you just insert what picture you want and you edit it from there. So I usually use C1. I know that's so basic. Everyone does. But I do that and then I just turn on the graininess like effect on the photo and that's all i do really to edit my pics with visco i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my main channel also subscribe to my blog channel i'll have it in the eye because i am doing summer vlogs so check those out if you haven't also follow me on my social medias they'll be somewhere here on the screen and with all that being said i'll see y'all in my next video bye guys